How's it going everybody? Welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fully automated fish farm uh, using a script. Uh, as far as I have seen, I have not seen another video on YouTube covering uh, a tutorial like this, so uh, this one's going to be a bit intricate. So if you do get stuck or are a bit confused, uh, if you want to ask any questions in the comment section, feel free to do so. I'll try to get to everybody. And I should also mention that this video is going to be a bit rushed, so I'll be covering things quickly, so just follow along with uh, whatever I do. Um, and so, without further ado, before I do get started, uh, I also want to mention that this is only going to work for PC, uh, due to the fact that we are going to be running scripts. Um, so this will not work on console or on the Pocket Edition, or mobile, I should say. Um, so if you're on either one of those two trying to do this, this will not work for you. I'm so sorry. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And if you've tried to look for uh, videos on YouTube covering this, you might already be familiar with this setup. So this is everything you're going to need here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by placing the chest there. I'm going to place three signs around it. Three trap doors here like so and then your bucket of fish can be anything uh, it can be either a salmon or a cod sir uh, just one of the two and then you're also going to want to waterboard your chest and behind the chest you're going to dig down five blocks like so same thing right here and same thing here you can dig these out here as well. I like to just make a little stairway. Um, if you want, you can just make a, a ladder going up. Either one is fine. Uh, but under here, you're going to want to dig these two blocks out here as well. And make sure you are not directly under the chest because this will not work. You're going to place two chests like so. You can place two blocks right there. Gonna crouch and place a hopper on this left side there. Place a railing. Here. Sorry, you can just place one there. Either you can place it here and then push it over, or you can uh, place it directly on there. You're gonna want to place your minecart there. Sorry. And then you can crouch down here and then break the railing. If you just set the uh, the railing on top of whatever block here and slide it over, that works as well. And where you place those blocks on this back side here, we are going to place a sign. So that way the lava doesn't uh, float through there. So now once you've placed a sign there, you can go ahead and close that up. Take your lava bucket and you're going to want to place it right above the minecart. So from here you should have access to go down directly into here and check your chest. This is where all of your loot is going to flow down into. Um, and the speckles of lava should not come up and burn anything here. Um, so as far as the Minecraft side of everything goes, this is about it. Uh, it's about as simple as it gets. Um, I have not found any other ones that work for me personally. Um, so we're doing it this way. I'm clearing out these back blocks um, just because of the fact that when you do go to fish, I don't like to be close enough to where it's going to catch the sign. Uh, so you can stand back as far as you want. Uh, it just needs to reach uh, so you basically want to aim your fishing pole to be in this bottom area here as you can see this was my issue when I had first set this up so yes you do get the XP from this yes you do quote unquote get automatic but my problem with this is that I do need to right click um, if it goes, oh sorry, I forgot to mention that. If the fishing pole goes above, this will not work because the uh, the bobber is not going to get pushed down and the loot will not fall. 
you need to aim for it to be in this bottom section here. Um, but the reason why I dislike this is because of the fact that I need to be attentive the entire time and I need to right click to make this work. So the script uh, that I made is going to help us out with that. As you can see, the items do get collected down here. Um, so we'll go ahead and move over to the um, to the program to go ahead and show you guys. Once you have Visual Studio open, uh, this is ultimately what it's gonna look like, but uh, for anybody new that's just opening it, it should be empty. I will be including both of these links in the description. Um, so once you download Visual Studio, like I said, it should be popped up like this. Uh, but before we get started on here, you are going to need to run this command. So on your search bar, you can pull up command prompt and then copy and paste this in like so. Uh, so if you don't already have this, um, it should say that it's getting installed. As for me, I've already installed them, so I'm already good to go. Um, once in uh, Visual Studio, you're going to copy and paste the entire script that I have in the description. Uh, it'll probably either be a GitHub link or I will have this copy and paste it in there uh, just by itself. Um, so if you are not a coder and are just trying to play Minecraft, this is going to look a little confusing, but I can dumb this down for you. Um, so basically what this uh, script is going to do is look at a certain section of your screen. Uh, so in this instance, the white part of the hook that's, uh, that's on the actual uh, fishing rod, that is what's gonna be getting tracked. So once you release the hook, it's gone. And um, once the, the hook catches a fish, it will obviously retract back to um, the fishing rod, like so. Your item will go down there, the fishing hook goes back on. So what the script is essentially going to do is, once it detects that that hook has um, reappeared on that section of the screen, it's going to right click for you. So, gotta be waiting for a fish, and it's going to be watching the area once it's detected that the fishing hook has retracted back to the fishing rod, it's going to then uh, generate a right click. After that, it should be going back out. And there is a bit of a delay, so don't worry about this freaking out on you. Um, so in game, you do need to make sure that, uh, and this is if you're running 1080p by 1920 on your monitor, uh, this should work now if you are on a 1440p monitor or a 4k monitor you are going to need to adjust this and i'll show you how um, any fov works um, and like i said this is very early development so if anybody has any suggestions on some stuff that i can change i think it's um i think it's pretty golden on on everything that i got currently so uh, but like I said, if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Leave them down in the comments. Um, but back to Visual Studio. Once you've copied and pasted this in, you're going to click Save As. Down here, you're going to save it as Python. Once you've saved it, it'll just uh, take you back to the screen here. You'll click on the three dots here and click Run Python File. So as you see, it is watching for fish. It detected a screen change and it went and right clicked for you. So you will get a pop-up window like this. And as you can see here, this is everything that it's watching. Currently this um, gray area is currently in the way, but it's basically looking at everything in black and white. Uh, so once this goes away, I can't keep this up while I have the game. You are gonna wanna make sure that uh, the game is windowed. And you can do this with two monitors or one monitor. It just makes it a little bit easier so you can see the script running on your right monitor. Um, but you can click resume game and you can get it started by right clicking. 
and once it catches a fish it'll drop and the script will uh, detect the pixels on the screen changing and if the hook appears in that section of the screen that you're watching it will automatically right click for you this, like I said works on all versions because this is basically just running uh, a visual script on your computer and this has nothing to do with the actual game uh, the only thing that needs to be made sure of actually works is the fact that the lava retracts the fishing hook and the items can go through it effectively um, and then to just turn it off you click on here and then you click Q Q will be uh, how you get out of it if you try to exit out it's not going to work you need to click Q on your keyboard um, and you can change it on the script uh, to whatever key you'd like uh, that's just what I have it set as um, but the region that it watches is going to be right here. Uh, like I said, I'll have this preset to what it already is for me, uh, as I am assuming that um, 1920 by 1080 is going to be the default one that a lot of people are playing on. Gotten that in, you are pretty much set. That's, uh, that's as much as there is to it. Um, I will be in the comment section, so if anybody has any questions or concerns, uh, I can try to help you out as much as I can. I'm by no means a big YouTuber, so uh, I can definitely try to get to as many people as I can. Uh, but that will be everything for today. Thank you guys for watching my first YouTube tutorial. I promise you I'll try to get better at explaining some stuff. Uh, but thank you guys for bearing with me, and have a great day.